A relatively popular technique that I see a lot of Pac-Man mains do, anywhere between mid percent and high percent, is if they catch their opponent jumping and they happen to get hit by Bell, a lot of players will either try to go for a follow up side B. It's pretty cool, super flashy, um, there is a little bit of property to it so I want to go over maybe some common mistakes that you might uh, have during the technique and just how to break it down and go ahead and do it for yourself. I want to kind of scratch the surface of some of the more common mistakes that you might see with this technique. Um, number one would be after getting hit by Bell and you do your follow up for the side B, um, I see a lot of people just completely extend the side B all the way out. This gives the opportunity for the opponent to go ahead and air dodge right after. Um, this is a common mistake that I ran into a lot. Um, and the solution for this more or less is just to go ahead and shorten the time of your side B um, just by like a second or two, honestly. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead here and show you guys is just um, testing it with mashing air dodge. I'm gonna set DI uh, to N just in case, you never know. I'm gonna do this technique on the ledge just because it's obviously closer to the blast zone. But now that we do that, set my opponent to go ahead and jump. Um, another uh, little tip that I guess helped me for this was to take a small step forward, full hop, and then input your side B. So I'll show you as follows. Didn't quite kill there. There we go. Um, again, you just want to keep a reminder that you don't want to fully extend your side B as possible is again, step forward, full hop, and then go ahead and hit the side B. See there I hit, uh, I completely extended my side B without like, you know, shortening it by a second or two. And that's what ended up in him air dodging. Go ahead, show it again. Jumping, step forward, side B, boom. Just that simple. And again, that, that little step forward really goes a long way. But yeah, like I said, definitely go ahead, take the time to go ahead and figure out which character it works on, which characters it doesn't work on. And again, just making sure that timing is precise on that. You wanna go ahead and lab it for a little bit. Um, but it's the most important technique or the most important tip that I wanna give you guys to walk away with for this is to make sure you do not fully extend your side B. That will always result in the opponent air dodging. Uh, with some of these common mistakes being fixed, you'll be able to hit Bell side B with no problem at all. All right, and that pretty much wraps everything up from here. Hopefully that'll go ahead and fix some of your common mistakes whenever it does come down to some of these things. Um, but if you guys happen to enjoy the video, please go ahead, share with some of your friends. Let me know what you think. Let me know what they think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.